the question we are going to discuss here is a circular arrangement problem with blood relations it's about a family of eight people all these people are sitting at a circular table all of them facing the center of the table one thing that should notice here is that all these people are connected to this one person kirti so all the relations are given in connection to kirti only so this is a type which is generally easier to handle in blood relations let's see how it's done the first step invariably in a problem like this is to create a circular structure something like this once you have this you should look for some straightforward affirmative statements to plug in the data in this structure something like statement 5 look here it says that kirti sits to the immediate left of ekanch now since there is nobody in the structure at the moment we can put two of them anywhere in the structure so let's put ekanch here here e denotes ekanch so since the starting letters of all the names are different we'll just use the starting letters in this case now it says that kirti sits to the left of ekanch so the position of kirti would be this let's put her here okay let's proceed the next statement we use should be statement 10 it says that charu sits third to the right of ekanch so this is ekanch here so the position of charu would be 1 2 3 so let's put c here so c denotes charu here so now she is at the third position to the right of ekanch okay let's proceed the next statement that i would want to use here would be statement 2 it talks about kirti's son and charu it says that there is just one person between them so we already know where charu is that's the position if there is just one person between kirti's son and charu there are two possible positions for kirti's son one would be this and the other would be this position now since we don't know what's the exact position of kirti's son will make a case here another one something like this so let's call the first one case 1 and the second one case 2 all right let's first copy the data from the first case to the second one so let's put k e and c so they are kirti ekanch and charu in the structure now let's put kirti's son let's put him here in the first case so i'll just write son here that's obvious whose relations we are talking about and in the second case we'd put son here you would notice here that i'm putting the first letters of their names inside the circle whereas i have written son outside the circle so i'll put all the relations outside the circle you should follow practices like this because that makes comprehending the data a lot more easier okay let's proceed and look at statement 3 now it says that hema sits to the immediate right of kirti's son look at case 1 this is kirti's son so the position of hema would be this one so let's write h here so that denotes hema look at case 2 this is kirti's son so this would be the position of hema okay let's proceed look at statement 4 now it says that kirti's husband and hema sit at diametrically opposite positions look at the two cases case 1 first this is hema here so the position of kirti's husband should be this one so let's write husband here and case 2 now this is hema so the position of kirti's husband would be this one so let's write husband here as well now we need to look at a statement that connects the already filled data with a new person look at statement 11 it says that exactly one person sits between kirti's husband and anand look at case 1 this is kirti's husband so there is just one gap between kirti's husband and anand so there are two possibilities one is this one 
and that's the other one but this is already occupied by ekansh so that's not possible so anand has to occupy this position on the top so let's put a here look at case 2 now this is kirti's husband so again the two possibilities would be these this one and this one but again the lower one is not possible because it's occupied by ekansh so this is not possible and this would be the position so let's put a here as well so that denotes anand now there are five people in the structure in both the cases if you look at statement 6 now it says that ramesh sits to the immediate right of gora there are three people left to be put in the structure ramesh and gora are two of them we can see just five letters here a c h k e it means three are left now if you look at these two structures these two cases you would realize that in case 1 the two possible positions the only two possible positions for ramesh and gora would be these two now if ramesh is sitting to the immediate right of gora gora would come here and this would be the position of ramesh so ramesh becomes the husband of kirti look at case 2 now the only two possible positions are these this one and this one so gora would come here and this would be the position of ramesh now if you look at the two cases you would realize that we have filled seven names here and the only person who is not there in the structure yet is ish so we can write i in both the cases here so i becomes son so basically ish is the son of kirti so this is case 1 and this is case 2 i denotes ish here so now we have put all the names in the two cases and we have got just two relations here husband and son we can also write self here which denotes kirti okay let's proceed look at statement 8 now it says that ish sits second to the left of kirti's daughter so look at case 1 this is ish the son of kirti if he sits second to the left of kirti's daughter charu must be the daughter of kirti here so let's write daughter here if you look at this you would realize that ish would be sitting second to the left of charu who is kirti's daughter look at case 2 now if we apply the same condition here we would realize that ish who is the son of kirti is sitting second to the left of kirti here it means that he cannot be sitting to the left of kirti's daughter since he is sitting second to the left of kirti herself which basically means that case 2 is not possible it's incorrect it violates the conditions given here and so case 1 is our definitive case okay it looks pretty simple now look at statement 1 it says kirti's father in law sits second to the right of ramesh so this is ramesh here second to the right of ramesh would be ekansh e so let's write father in law here look at statement 7 now it says that kirti's father in law and kirti's son in law sit at diametrically opposite positions if ekansh is the father in law of kirti the son in law of kirti would be anand just opposite ekansh here so let's write son in law here now let's look at the last step of solving this problem look at statement 9 kirti's daughter in law sits third to the right of kirti's mother in law so here are the two vacant positions h and g if kirti's daughter in law sits third to the right of kirti's mother in law h should be the mother in law you can see here that the third position to the right of h would be g who becomes the daughter in law 
So let's write Doughton law here. With this we have completed this structure, that's our final answer.